What's up, Internet? Coming at you after this uh, this episode was filmed. Um, kind of seems like this one's going out on Thanksgiving. So I just wanted to wish you all a happy Thanksgiving. If you celebrate Thanksgiving, I know there's a lot of people around the world who may be watching this. So if you're watching this uh, and you're in the U.S. celebrating Thanksgiving, hope it's a good one. Uh, it's a good time to be with friends and family. And if uh, you can't, well, I appreciate you... Uh, tuning in and checking in the videos and uh, wish you the best. Uh, I know for a lot of people this time of year could be kind of difficult, so uh, I wish you the best and uh, hope you enjoy the video. What's going on internet? I'm gonna make this the last video for uh, the 3D printing stuff just because I don't want to drag this on too long and I don't want to piss off my, my loyal car fans. Because I myself wouldn't want a channel to completely switch topics, formats, haircuts. Today, we've done everything. <laughs> I reprinted both of these because I found out the design was actually wrong. Uh, I actually made a, a better wide limit, whatever. In the last video, we completely redid these. And I've been tweaking them and, you know, the angle of them because this thing's not quite square for whatever reason but uh, that's fine uh, just been finalizing design stuff and over here we have the bed holder pieces which has been running about two hours so it's my little display screen that I use to watch uh, the print while I do other things like edit yada 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 so I can watch this and it tells me how much time's left and the temperatures and everything and it I don't know it tells me overall progress that's what's going on that's what's happened today it's just Monday it's the first day of my vacation for the week um, I took three days off just to get as much stuff done as possible um, especially on these printers I really want to get this thing printing by end of tomorrow. I have more belt coming. I have a ton of belt, like six meters of it, like way too much. It'll be here tomorrow. Um, and that'll allow us to extend the drive belt properly. That's, that's what we're waiting for with this, uh, to finish this piece. And then hopefully, crossing my fingers here, because I've said this before, uh, hopefully these pieces we're printing right now have a good design and everything's been thought about and all this Just bolts up and fits one of the things I don't think I mentioned in one of the other videos is the Crossbar piece that we had that went across in here. It was just too much of a pain to uh, You know to take in and out and you know because you have to pull the entire linear rails out to just to bolt it in Because um, you can't get under this deck, so I just 86 that what I think I might do is if the bed needs support we'll do it like here While I can still get under it and then again on the other side Same thing on this side is we'll, we'll put it like under you know one of these whatever just enough to kind of give the bed some rigidity in the middle so because of the way this this thing homes the Z So it actually like lifts the entire carriage up like Kind of like that. It's kind of a weird design, but I guess it works. Maybe put a little bit of like some pork wings on the side that are just simple little L's, like up and over kind of things. Just enough to support the bed. I mean, it is it is glass, so we don't want it to break. I don't think it's going to, but you never know. We'll see what happens. I need to find something to stick these old parts into before I lose them. Just the rods, the rails, the pillow blocks that kind of stuff. I need to clean all this mess up. We're getting to the point where we're pretty much done with, you know, getting getting super crazy with the old uh, drill and, and just custom fabbing things. So, hopefully, hope, hopefully we'll be done with this. Come tomorrow and we'll have a working printer. And then at that point, all we have to do is print the design files I currently have in ABS and tear it all apart again and reinstall it. So crossing fingers on that but you know I'm gonna make this video that you're watching the last video so if it doesn't end in this one then I threw it all out the window and said screw it because at this point I'm just like I want to get back to car stuff or uh, 
I'm not even I'm not even gonna tell you anything about that other than I got a street light and it's it's pretty dope. And those got maybe like an hour left or so and it's ten o'clock. Literally. Literally just finished. Boogers. Last night, the last clip you saw was me fighting with these bed end gear pieces, whatever you want to call them. End pieces, kind of, you know, they do the captive nut sort of thing, and then there's a nut that's in there to help space it. The bed slides into the little pockets here and here, and that, this side was fine, this side seems, you know, happy. But then over here, I had to fight with getting this side totally like hooked up or whatever. So I'm not sure what happened there. So when I tried to put the bed in, I could only get this side and this one wasn't even gonna go and I didn't wanna force it because I didn't wanna shatter the, the bed. As I said in one of the previous videos, is those things can be really expensive. They're like 50, 60 bucks or more. So I don't wanna shatter that. So what I did is, is uh, I went back to the drawing board and uh, I made the mounting holes about one mil farther, which is about how far we were off. It was really like two mil, but uh, I did it on all four pieces, so we have to reprint that. We actually have to go pick up the five millimeter spool of drive belt so we can finish off the, the, the drive gear, uh, this piece. I already took the, uh, the old belt off, but basically it's five meters of this which we don't need five meters, but it'd be nice to have. We can use these again and uh, get this thing moving back and forth. So we're gonna go pick that up. That's an Amazon locker. Wasn't sure with Thanksgiving being uh, in two days, what packages delivery was gonna be like. And uh, I just didn't wanna take a chance with uh, missing my delivery. We'll come back, do another print with the uh, the little standoff pieces, that'll take about three hours. And then uh, in the meantime, we'll start working on the drive belt. All right, so we got the uh, we got the drive belt and we're 3D printing new parts. So hopefully these ones will work. Uh, I'm sure they'll work either by using two of these and two of the original ones or by using all of the ones that I'm printing now. So. Uh, we'll see what happens. That's going to take about three hours.
Ned's mounted. It's a little tight, but uh, that's fine because these other pieces that I printed will come in handy for fixing that later. But right now it's just about testing the design and the design uh, so far seems really, really solid. Uh, this is it. This is uh, Mark I of the Robo 3D Linear Rail. As you can see, it's super, super solid. Um, I do have some little nuts down here that are kind of offsetting it, but we're going to check the height right now. We're at 36 mil. So we're one mil taller than we wanted to be, but uh, the only reason why that is is because these nuts down here add about a mil or so. And the reason why we had to do this is because otherwise the screws will poke up through and sharp edges against tempered glass. Probably not a good idea. So the real solution here is to ditch the 16s for a 14 mil uh, screw, which those are kind of special order. Um, I don't know anywhere that sells them. Um, Lowe's doesn't have M3 screws. Home Depot doesn't have 14 mils. The only other place would be the internet, and with it being the week of Thanksgiving, it's gonna be a really hard press to find. So I'm gonna have to order those, and then we'll drop the bed back down. But in theory, be good enough to print. So I'm gonna go grab my masking tape. Actually, I got some right here. So we're gonna throw some masking tape on the bed, uh, fire up uh, Octoprint, and see what, uh, what, uh, what happens. So uh, now we just gotta heat it up, get the, uh, the extruder block heated up, and cycle in some new filament, put it on the stand. This part sucks, because we have to pull this out of this block, and it's kind of not very intuitive, so we're gonna go ahead and try it. Gotta let it heat up first. Should be good. So she's running. We just gotta start printing all these pieces again on, uh, on that printer and hopefully I can get enough of it uh, printing with glue. It wasn't working very well with the, uh, the masking tape so we put some, some glue stick down which is actually one of the methods to try and fix it or to try and make it stick and it works decently. So I took off a uh, little print thing. What'd you think? Yeah. This is like the coolest thing you've printed up so far. You can get that spot on. I just downloaded a file, I didn't actually design it. Well, I know, but that's still badass. Right? I think that's, that's coming in the video. Dangle, dangle. I like it. It makes me check. That's so cool. That marks the, uh, the end of my. Well, end of my video series on 3D printing. Yeah. That's uh, that's enough of that, right? Get back to car stuff now. Well, I mean, that, that, that is car related. Yeah, it is now, but me fiddling with the printers for however long wasn't. How about I 
you print a turbo manifold? Yeah. Let's go print a turbo manifold that'll exceed 2,000 degrees. That would be lit. It'd be very lit. I'm tired. I don't want to leave my kitty for three days. Well, Patrick, we're off to Prescott. Au revoir. Later. So, now the only thing that's left to do is to print all those parts that we just designed in ABS using this printer. But uh, I'm not gonna show you that. I'm sure you guys are probably ready to get back to car stuff. So, uh, yeah. We're gonna get back to car stuff. Uh, this was just something that I really, really wanted to do and it's still gonna be a massive portion of my time. Um, but as you can see, this is, uh, it's working. So if you want to see more of it, if you do want to see the ABF stuff, like this video. If I see like, I don't know, 10 likes or something, then I'll go for it. And I'll, I'll show you the ABS stuff and I could be a little bit more frequent with these because they don't require $9 billion worth of parts. So if you like these videos, the last like four, then hit that thumbs up and uh, tell me you want more. If you want more of that, we can do that. So next is that guy and this will print ABS parts directly for that and itself. So we're not even gonna, we're not even gonna film it. We're not, you already know the process. So little printer bot over here was a, was a G and he still works fine. So what a trooper. But uh, until the next one, which will be probably, if not the same day, like one day later, then, then this video drops. We'll also be dropping a video on that guy over there and uh, what the story is with that. So, right there. See? Right there. so keep an eye out for that one. Uh, I'll put a thingy up here once it's, uh, once it's dropped. But in the meantime, take it easy and we'll see you later. I'm a true champion.